Ooh, ouch. I was looking to gain some souls to spend at the shops, but um, I'm not gaining souls if I die. Really starting to dislike that skeleton. Not only does he not give you any souls when he dies, because he's got two lives, but uh, oh, all the rest of it. Oh, silly corner. I did not rescue my souls trying to do it that way. <laughs> no, as soon as you say, um, uh, no, they often just, like, immediately leave. <laughs> um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't expect a reply, to be honest. Starting to stack up a little bit of money for my town trip. No, no pain, no gain. Because I think um, we've got like another item to expand like the uh, the shopkeeper's inventory when we do get over there. So that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking forward to. Yeah, you got him knocked over. Here we go. Wow, he didn't obey the rules of like staying down once he was down. He's an anarchist skeleton. I wonder how much the the, the boulder's worth if I kill the necromancer. Not that I went up the right staircase. Never mind. Is it, is it this one? It might be this one. Yeah. Okay. So, be on full health. Let's get this necromancer. 
Alright, so 120 for him. What about when the boulder dies? Oh, hello, sir. I got I got no souls at all when the boulder died. Oh, boulder was soulless. Oh man, what a what a harsh world. Yeah, that guy did not get knocked down again. Brutal. I'm gonna have problems with the bleed proc if he keeps hitting me. Wait, what the hell? Where'd the crab come from? There's no crabs down here. I think I think that was like I think that guy was carrying a crab with him just to deploy crab to surprise me. It's like a distraction crab. It's genius, to be honest. When will I learn there's a boulder behind me? This is, uh... Turn, turning out to be an odd morning. Reach, I thought it was. Oh no, out of mana. Six hundred souls. Yeah, that that guy is totally worth coming down and fighting. I've been doing the wrong thing. Skeletons aren't worth nothing. It is all about the rats. What about these? What were these worth? Probably not worth the effort. <laughs> Jeez. 40. Really? No. No, 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 no. We're going back to filing. We, we got money to burn. Um, well, let, let's do a full round of chatting with, with, like, everybody. Go see if, uh, this guy has anything new to say. Ah, here he is. Fret not, fret not. My feet are here firmly planted. For I am a lord, and this is my throne. Hello. Ah, most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say, Lord Slayer? Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of Lordship. And all slain by thy hand to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Oh, I have no qualms. 
for as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. I like this guy. In fact, methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path. Yeah. I think uh, with his with his uh, uh, legs cut off, which I think is what's, what he said happened to him earlier, he does look a little bit shorter than he probably normally is. Yeah, he's all like, yeah, it, it's cool you killed the, the lords to get back here. They're supposed to be back here anyway, so he's pretty chill about it. Ah, most of <laughs> same, same, same dialogue, but, but what's this? The transposing kiln. Um, that's one of my key items, I think. Now, do not be away over long. <laughs> He'll never be as stumped as I was in, um... Dark Souls 2. No nothing can compare. So that was this. Make soul transposition possible. An ultra potent kill from Courtland created with stitch crystallized lizard hide. Give to Lou Death, Lord of Cinder, to construct soul transposition. Well, that that's a very direct, like, this is what you do with it. I like that. Now, this kill can transpose twisted souls to craft special items. With their concentrated essence, deem forbidden by those unable to make proper use of it. Oh my god. It sounds like he's gonna... He's gonna be, uh... Damn, what's the guy's name? Stain? Stan? St St ah, the guy from Dark Souls 2 that let me, like, trade in stiff. Fret not, fret not. My feet for... Strayed. Most illustrious Perhaps. Lord Seeker. Or should I find an O? Oh, in fact. I keep on doing the wrong dialogue because I'm so excited. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this, is, this is what I meant to click. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring to me a twisted soul. I've got tons of twisted Transposition souls. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transferred to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? Oh my god! <gasps> Okay, okay. Boulder heave. Pyromancy. I don't know how that's pyromancy, but never mind. Spew a boulder from one's mouth. Oh, that sounds hilarious. The Hollow Slayer Greatsword. That sounds cool. What is this? Greatsword used for a lifetime by a masked knight. Harbors the fears that lurk within the minds of hollow and it is particularly effective against them. Nice. Stow to a proper mirror knight. Knights of Mirror. I think that was the Dark Souls 2 lady with the, the pointy hat that we never like found the conclusion of. I think that's mirror. Uh, two hand to execute special sword techniques. Stance. So the normal attack breaks the foe's guard. A strong attack to slash upward with a forward lunge. That sounds really good. Soul of the blood of the wolf. We joined the wolf covenant. Maybe this is for us. Great sword of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss. Oh, we know one of them from Dark Souls 1. Uh, and master of the wolf's blood of Faron. Uh, the wolf knight was the first abyss watcher. And he had a wolf guard his grave. Huh. And this sword is more punishing against creations of the abyss. So we've got something that does more damage to, like, hollows. Something that does more damage to abyss things. Oh, it's got its own skill. The wolf sword. While in a stance, use normal attack to low spinning slash. Or strong to leap forward and vertically slashing somersault. Yeah, Armour of Dennis is a bit more about the wizard swords, sure. Oh! This! 
That looks like you get almost this sword in this pairing. But this is the weapons that the uh, the boss was using. He had that, that kind of sickle knife in the one hand for his fast attacks, and he had the, the, the sword. A yeah, great sword of the Abyss Watchers, which is used, uh, atypically paired with an unusual dagger. Nice! The dagger is utilized as a wedge in the left hand, while the great sword is held in the right. A unique technique that was synonymous with the undead legions. Found foes in the Manor of War's hunting prey. Yeah, it did. Whoa, you get parry with it? Like a shield? Reflect an attack when timed properly and follow up with a critical hit executed with the dagger. Ah, oh, that sounds so much fun. I'm not sure if that's Armour of Dennis kind of play star, but that, that sounds awesome. The Vault's Great Hammer. That was the first boss, the, the frosty guy. They're like the, the dog knight on the, crawling around on the floor. Great Hammer wood by Vort, the Outrider Knight of Boreal Valley. Weapon is imbued with frost and causes frostbite. Frost accumulates at the buzzy, causing frostbite, which saps one's health, lowers absorption, and slows stamina recovery. Sounds like a, a PvP thing. I don't know if enemies really have stamina recovery, truly. Skill is perseverance. Boost your poise. I think we saw something with poise boost on it earlier. Master's Spear. One of the curses that festered within the belly of the Greatwood. And terrible weapon favored by Earl Aster the Impaler. Squired the soul of the rotted Greatwood. Do I remember where I got that from? Oh, that was the um, the sort of eggy tree guy. That was weird. So with the tree in mind, the spear is wreathed with rotten, heavily poisonous meat. Defeating foes restores HP. Okay. So it's kind of not really got anything to do with like the the tree boss itself, but it's it's from that soul. Havel's ring. Nice. Increases your maximum equip load like it like it did before. This ring was named after Havel the Rock. The battlefield compatriot of Gwyn the First Lord. So we've got we've got two guys that are definitely Dark Souls 1 guys. Havel, totally a named Dark Souls 1 person. And Gwyn, the first lord, the Lord of The Lord of Cinders, I, I guess he is. Like He was definitely called Cinder Lord Gwyn, I think, when we killed him. Yeah. So we do we do have some, some people named from Dark Souls 1. I'm not imagining it. Um, the Art of War has been a constant since ages past, and those who follow following Havel's footsteps are no fewer now than in his own day. Uh, and the Pontiff's left eye. So that one also takes the soul of the uh, Dogman. So you can only have the hammer or this ring. A uh, bewitch bewitching ring that Pontiff Solven bestowed upon his knights uh, recovers HP with successive attacks. Whoa. What? Knights who peer into the black orbs are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder Pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. Oh, wow. So, it's a guy. He's handing out magic rings that just turn you into a berserker. Possibly giving you the, the red-eyed look. And, uh, yeah, he's so worried about people finding out that, you know, the rings turned you super crazy and evil. That he only gives them to people that are on away missions. Evil, evil man. If we ever find Pontiff Sullivan, we're gonna, we're gonna settle his hash. Uh, but I am gonna take the ring, and I am, uh, and I am gonna become a madman. Because, you know, that's kind of cool. So all the rest of the stuff is like great swords and great hammers and things. I don't I don't think that's very, um... Yeah, armor of Dennis. But nice. We found our strayed and we found him so early. So early. Now, now. Do not be away, overlord. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe you get like a great hat soul after you defeat the uh, the sage. Maybe that's what it's like called, literally. 
Let's get rid of our fire damage absorption. And, um, yeah. Store some HP with successive attacks. I like that. Really hope it works on my spell sword. Although, now that I think about it, I got, like, a little bit of a worry that it won't. So there was, there was a man here before. He's gone. Wandered off somewhere. We don't have uh, Mr. Misery on the stairs either. Or the extra chick that was saying about, ah, the moon is great. Um, fine. Um, what about... Welcome home. I speak thine home. What about this heal the dark sigil? You have no dark sigil. So it's not about getting like a free humanity ember thing then which is what I was thinking of farewell I've made the fl ah well me how may I let's give her a number ash the grave warden ash gracious passing fine ash thou hast given let this ash bestow nourishment I only hope these new wares content thee <laughs> ah, cell items. Was that always there? Uh, what do I get a lot of duplicates of? Scimitars. I think I got like a lot of duplicates of some of the like the uh, kind of the peasant outfit from the undead settlement place. Yeah, here we go. Lots of worker gloves. That'll do. So, another, another big old stack of embers. Wow. Uh, I can't remember if repair powder was on there, but, um, got some of that. Oh, gold resin. I don't think we had that there before. Consumables, though. You know me. I don't remember to use consumables. Spell buff 131. Ah. I don't know if that was more powerful than my starting one. Or if that is the starting one. Oh yeah, she had a new outfit before and I never got around to like buying it. It was the exile stuff. But now she's got the undead legion stuff as well. Cool. What does the chest piece weigh? 7.6 and this one's 17.3. It's almost double all the like physical defensive stats. And the magic stuff's keeping up with it as well. I think I might want, like, a big old rack of exile stuff. Oh, and a, and a ring. Life ring. I might already have that. I feel like I choose that at the start sometimes. Uh, yeah. I think we're, I think we're going exile. Iron Mask of the Watchdog of Farron's Keep. After the Legion's Watchers became Lords of Cinder, wolf blood dried up, and Farron was consumed by a festering wood. Oh, wow. Uh, within the wood, uh, an emaciated old wolf commands Watchdog to defend the sanctity of sleeping warriors. And then the tooltips, you know, the same uh, along all the items. Ashen one, be sure to bring more souls. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, excellent. Three thousand ago. I think there might be an option there to use more. Yeah, to use more than one, but I didn't take it because I was in too much of a hurry. Oh, 
There we go. We popping souls now. Oh, how? Okay, for exile. Ashen one, bring me with. Is it not? <laughs> Ashen one. Ah, oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> heavy. So heavy. Nope, we're not rolling. We're just l lurching. Okay. Um. So I gotta, I gotta work on like my uh, weight limit. It seems. Oh, even this stuff's too heavy for me. Alright. Let's uh, take one of these down another notch. Still seems a little bit too heavy. Oh, that's much faster. Yeah. Okay. So we know which stats we need. We need a couple more strength, and then we really need to get some more equipment. Weight limit load. Ah, well, Matt. Tis good to see ye in good health. What needs smithing this day? Try reinforcing. Yep. Cool. I had another. Matters. Ah, another matter. Infusing weapons with gems requires a special kind of coal. My humble coals won't be any use infusing more unusual gems. I know, it's an awful shame, but it's all I have. Oh, please don't give me that look. Believe it or not, I'm quite thin-skinned. <laughs> Um, okay, let's reinforce something. a deadly critical attack. It's uh, 125. This one doesn't say it boasts a deadly critical attack, but it's got 130. Oh well, let's try it. So there we go, plus four rapier. Reinforce the shields, but that just gives them like more attack damage, but it's also stability as well. Might try upgrading the Dragon's Crest when I get to it. So it is sorcerer's stuff that I started with. I could take that up another level. Let's do that. Bam! <laughs> 